Hello, uh, Tech Tips with Dinjin here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your internet connection for free. Now, there are three parts to an internet connection, and uh, most people think about the bandwidth because that's what you pay for. But there's one other part that you can actually change that you don't pay for, and that's what we're going to focus on today. So first, I'm going to try to show you what happens here. So let's say you're on a website and you type in or you're on your computer and you type in youtube.com right? message is sent to the DNS server right? and it processes that, turns it into an IP address contacts the host and then sends you the web page YouTube. So uh, in the grand scheme of things your upload and download speeds are going to affect you most here where you're actually taking information from the host YouTube but what people don't think about is this right here. If you have a slow DNS server, this is going to take longer, and then this is going to take longer, which is a significant part of how quickly your web page loads. So if you get a faster DNS server, you can actually cut down the load times on all your web pages, and that's what we're going to do today. So if you can find the fastest DNS server in your area, you can actually speed up your internet connection free of charge. So, and by the way, this works for both Mac and PC. So I'm going to be doing the Mac tutorial right now. Uh, if you look in the description, there's going to be a link for the PC tutorial, and uh, I'll be working on that as well. All right, so let's get started. Uh, if you get on the internet and go to Google, you're going to want to type in something called Namebench. And uh, this is directly from Google Labs. It's a DNS benchmarking utility. It's going to test all the DNS servers in your area and will give you uh, readouts, allowing you to tell your computer to use the fastest ones in your area. Okay. So you're going to download it here. That here are the links. Um, there's the Mac OS DMG. Here's a Windows.exe file, and of course the source code if you want to play with it. We're going to go ahead and download that. It's a very tiny file. Shouldn't be too difficult. Now, now uh, once you have the DMG file downloaded, uh, you're going to double click it, and it's going to mount. So once it mounts, you should see this. Um, this is the icon for Namebench. Click on it and you'll get an alert asking you if you want to open the application. So you go ahead and click open and you'll see this. This up here is your local IP address. Don't touch that. Don't change it. Don't try to mess with it. What you're going to look for is this. Include global DNS providers and include best available regional DNS providers. So this will give you the best of everything. And what you want to do is uh, choose your location and Query a data source. Now, whatever browser you use, uh, or the top 2,000 websites, or whatever, um, if you click one of the browsers, what it's going to do is it's going to use your browser history to test the speed of the DNS service, so it's more tailored to you. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use Google Chrome. And you're going to do 250 queries, I guess. Uh, and actually, I'm going to use Safari, but we're going to go ahead and click Start. So Namebench is going to do its thing and now we wait. This usually takes some time. Hello everyone. Okay, uh, Namebench is not done yet. However, I have discovered a bug in Namebench. Uh, under Mountain Lion, Mac OS 10.8, uh, but I've also discovered a fix for it. So, now here's the fix for the bug, uh, and you're gonna have to close Namebench, and if you'll go to Applications and Namebench, what you're going to have to do to uh, modify this file to fix Namebench is right-click, Show Package Contents, go to Contents, then Resources, LibNamebench, and HealthChecks.py. It's a Python file. You can just right-click, open with Text Edit, and then all you've got to do is find this line, hostname equals this, and then there's one change you've got to make here, there's a 32 here, and it needs to be a 16 for the program to work. So I've pasted this line uh, in the description so that it's easy for you to do this. Just right-click, copy, and uh, 
go to health checks py, command f for find, paste it, uh, and push enter, and it should show up. I have already modified it, so I'm going to change it to 16. Here's the line, but it would originally be 32, and all you have to do is highlight 3 and 2, and just push 1 and 6. Command S to save, click done, and close the file. And that should fix the bug for you. After that, you should be able to open Namebench again, uh, out here, and what we're going to do this time is we're going to select the top 2000 websites, the Alexa, and keep all the, whoops, keep all the other settings the same, and just click start, and uh, it should run just fine. Okay, I will see you in a bit after this is finished running. I actually finished the run, and uh, Namebench opens a results page in your browser. This is what it looks like. Now, you'll notice that the one that's highlighted yellow is the DNS server that I'm using currently. Well, that one uh, is apparently not the fastest one in my area, so I can make DNS results 17.3% faster if I use the one at the top of the list. So now what we've got to do is we're going to take our current settings and change them so that our computer will always look at this DNS server in this area. And I will try to make a note here, if you change locations, if you change networks, it's going to go back to different DNS servers. But any DNS server that you set at a current network will be used every time you're on that network. So you can do this in multiple locations and I'll do this multiple times and set it up for say work and home or maybe uh, at your university or whatever you want to do. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down here to System Preferences and we're going to go to Network. Under Network, uh, you'll use whatever you're trying to use uh, or whatever you're using on site. So we're going to use Wi-Fi, click Advanced, and it's right up here. It says DNS. And this is the current DNS server that's being used. Uh, and it's the default. But what we're going to do is we're going to add a new one. And you just type it in, 205. Dot one five two dot three seven dot two three. That's for me now. Uh, realize that it's going to be different for every single person who uses it. I'm also going to add the top three, not just one of them, in case one of them has an error or shuts down. So four dot four, um, the eight dot eight dot four dot four is the Google public DNS server, and that one's a good one to have, and of course this open DNS server down here. So I'm going to add another, 208.67.67.220.220, and that should be it. And I'm just going to click OK, and apply, and that's it, and we're done. So that concludes the Mac tutorial for how to speed up your internet connection free of charge. And after you apply the new settings and restart your browser, you should notice that web pages load significantly faster. Have a good day, and uh, please subscribe and like the video if you uh, enjoyed it and if it helped. Uh, comment below on how well it worked for you. Uh, for those of you who encounter a weird bug in Namebench, there's going to be a line you're going to have to change in one of the files uh, inside the application. and. I will post a link to the relevant line and how to fix the issue. Uh, to the rest of you, good luck, have a good night.